This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. We're learning more about a shooting in Covington that left four people hurt, including three children. The 17 year old alleged gunman was transferred from juvenile court today to be tried as an adult. That is if the grand jury finds probable cause to indict him. He currently faces four counts, including assault and riot charges. A federal judge may set a new trial date for former Cincinnati City Councilman. Jeff Pastor's jury trial for public corruption charges was to begin in May, but attorneys agreed to delay it. Pastor was in court this afternoon for a status conference. He's currently without an attorney because his former lawyer, Ben Dusing, has been temporarily suspended from practicing law in Kentucky and Ohio. A local high school is in need of some upgrades to its stadium. Stands at Newport High School Stadium failed a mid-March inspection. The concrete stands are more than 80 years old. Newport Central Catholic also uses the stadium for home football games. Both schools will not have games there until the new stands and press box are complete. The track and field are still usable. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here is Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Steve? Yeah, Tanya, thanks. As we look at things, we've got fair skies, really, to clear skies tonight. It won't be as cool. We're going to only drop to about 40 degrees. Then coming up for tomorrow, we'll go from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy, and there is a slight chance for a shower, a temperature of 60. About the same idea on Friday, uh, but this weekend, we're going to warm, and we're going to see temperatures in the 70s by Sunday, but chances for rain increases.